Hello everybody, this is Savage Stacker. Um, thank you everybody for coming by and watching my videos. And all my new subscribers out there, I truly appreciate you. And uh, let's keep this thing going. The channel's doing pretty good right now. I'm very, very busy lately. I just got back to work and uh, I have, was off for a few months for uh, back stuff. Uh, supposed to get a surgery, which I never got. And I'm gonna get it uh, in November or December at the end of the year after this fire season. So. I hope hopefully I get good results from that and get out of pain. That'd be great. But it's great to get back to work, but they've all been 14 hour days and I am exhausted. So I hope I don't, you know, you know, uh, I hope I, my channel doesn't suffer from that. And it, it very well could. Um, but I'm trying to cut out a few, you know, hours in the morning to try to get this done. So. Once again, thank you everybody for stopping by. And if you wouldn't mind, go hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up, it really helps out. And uh, I appreciate you. So, generic silver versus constitutional silver. And what I see happening right now. So, if you were to ask anybody in this community a year ago, what would be the best thing for a foundation for your stack? A lot of people would have said, get yourself some eagles, right? Some American silver American eagles and or and, and get yourself a, a good foundation of junk silver or in this community, we like to call it constitutional silver, especially the, uh, the, the major patriots out there. We don't like calling it junk, but um, a lot of people know this as as junk silver and that's anything minted uh, before 1965 so 1964 and before that is uh 90 silver and that's why they call it junk silver because it has a little bit of copper in it to keep it you know stable and not so soft so a dollar 40 of this right here makes an ounce of of silver and uh a dollar face value is how they sell it. If you buy a dollar face value, you're going to get about 0.71 of a troy ounce, which is just under three quarters of an ounce. And that's how they sell junk silver is by the, the dollar value. And you got to be careful with slicks because it's still part of the dollar value. So if you go buy yourself a bunch of these um, barbers, right, they're, uh, they're all slicked out. You're going to lose a little bit of silver in there. And uh, so... That's a little bit less, but you're still, you know, dollar fifty right there is supposed to be a little bit over an ounce of silver, but it, you might have less than that because they're all slicked out. And uh, so I try to get like rosy dimes because they're usually really nice and not, you know, not you didn't lose you don't lose too much silver like that. And uh, so a dollar forty of that makes an ounce, and uh, but they sell it by the dollar and uh, face value. Uh, right now, I think it's running anywhere from $22 to $26 for a dollar face value, which is pretty crazy. When I got into it, I was paying like $10.50 to $11 for a dollar face value. So it's the price is up there, but the premiums are much lower on this right now than, um, than anything else. So if you were to ask this community, uh, you know, a couple years ago or you, even a year ago, it, it, it would be, you know, buy yourself some government minted bullion, you know, Britannia's, uh, you know, uh, maples, eagles, things like that, and then get yourself some junk silver. And that has kind of changed, I see, and I've heard on other videos and at my local coin shop that he's sitting on tons of junk silver right now. Nobody wants it. Nobody's buying it. And they want generic. They want 10-ounce bars. They want eagles. They want, um, you know, just just regular bullion three nines fine or four nines fine and he i mean he's sitting on you know a few thousands of dollars in face value of constitutional right now and nobody's buying it nobody wants it which i think is funny because you know a couple years ago you couldn't even keep the stuff in stock people were buying it up like crazy well uh i too kind of fall into that category because i prefer uh first off i prefer like my uh you know, my, my old vintage, like Inglehards and stuff like that, especially if I get them at a good cheap price. Um, cause I know they're worth more than that, especially right now. Um, if I get them for a good cheap price, I'm going to buy this over anything else. And second to that, I will buy, you know, a 10 ounce bar of generic, you know, silver. And third to that would be junk silver. And 
but I've pretty much always been like that. I haven't like switched up for me. And there's a few people in this community that only want junk silver. And there's a good reason for that. And that's because it's fractional and it's trusted. It's government minted. And it was true money. It still is true money. Uh, you can still use it as money. It'd be silly to use it as money because each one of these dimes is worth like two and a quarter, two dollars, two dollars and 25 cents or, you know, and uh, about two bucks. And there's nowhere else you can go get fractional silver for that price. If you're going to get a tenth ounce uh, of uh, a gold or silver round and it's going to cost you anywhere from five to twelve dollars and i've seen say like uh libertads those things are like 30 bucks or 20 bucks a pop for a tenth ounce so um yeah it's hard to find fractional out there for a good price and uh so this is how you get your fractional and there's a belief out there that one day we will have to use this again the silver content of it um to buy goods and that is I mean, it's a possibility. It could happen. Um, do I think it's going to happen anytime soon? No, but but it, it could happen. And um, I actually long for the day that that will happen. That that would be awesome. I'd love to go back to using silver and gold as money and uh, and trades and go into a store and stuff like that. Be, that would just, I think that would be fun. It was great. Can you just picture our parents were using this stuff as money? There was a pocket full of silver at all times and uh that's gone now i mean you might run into one silver dime if you don't if you're not coin roll hunting you might in, in getting change back from a store you might get run into one silver dime maybe in like two years maybe i think i've found two in the last like 15 years and uh, unless I was coin roll hunting, which I do from time to time, just for something fun to do, me and my boy. And um, we've only found a couple uh, halves, a couple of, uh, we've got a walker and um, a uh, uh, 1964 uh, Kennedy. It's actually this, this Kennedy right here. Um, so, and I know that because it's the only one I have. Uh, so don't forget about constitutional or junk silver this is a very good way to stack right now because the premiums are much cheaper on this than it is to buy this stuff and now with your generic silver it the more you bought the bigger bars you bought it used to be a much cheaper better deal because it's uh you know the more you buy the the more you save but i'm not seeing that right now i am not seeing that they're like oh on sale and they knock like five cents off their premium that to me is not on sale unless you're buying like a million ounces at once that five cents they can cheek it because that's not on sale uh it's like only 6.99 over spot you're like what <laughs> i was just paying 50 cents over a spot two years ago dude and uh so it, it's it's you're not really getting a deal anymore with uh, generic 10 ounce bars. Um, they're very high demand right now, and that's what people are stacking. They're not even stacking Eagles as much because the premiums are so dang high. I mean, people are still stacking them, but it, they're just, you know, they're, it's just, the premiums are way too high on those things, especially if they can go buy an, a full tube of Buffaloes, uh, generic Buffalo rounds, and save $200 on a tube of those versus a, a tube of Eagles. I'm going to buy those buffaloes any day of the week. And so I don't see people buying eagles right now. They're staying away from junk silver and they're buying the generic stuff, rounds and bars. And, uh, and that's, that's, that's a weird change because uh, don't forget about this stuff. This is silver and it's trusted and it's fractional and it's real money. And uh, this used to be our currency right here. And that to me is amazing. I'm, I, I, I wish I wish I lived in a time where where I had silver in my pocket um, for money. That would just that would have been awesome. Or if I would have had a chance when they said that they're taking silver out of the money um, to go to the bank and buy twenty boxes of quarters or something like that would have been. That's what I would have done. That would have been super amazing. But yeah. Anyways, what do I think is best to stack right now? Uh, I'm kind of biased on this because even before it kind of became unpopular to buy junk silver, I always turned towards the generic 10 ounce bars. 
that's just I've always just done that and um, that's not the best way to stack there's a lot of channels out there that would disagree with the way I'm stacking that would say get yourself rounds government minted bullion and then some junk silver then the generic stuff later at, at you know towards the end of the list and uh, for me it's the opposite I like my 10 ounce bars I love them and um, that's what I all it's all I really want to stack and then uh, and then I would try to give me some you know I would get this stuff first over here this stuff second and then um, and then I'd probably go to government minted bullion and then I would go to junk silver that's that would be how I would do that and uh, but I don't I try not to forget about this stuff because it's fractional it's very important to have this so I buy quite a bit of it uh, the last time I purchased it it's been about four months but I went and bought me a hundred dollar face value of, uh, of dimes and it actually cost me 1900 bucks, and um, you know that's that wasn't too bad, not too bad at all. And uh, because right now, if you try to buy it, it's uh, gonna cost about 2200 bucks for a hundred dollar face value, and uh, so did pretty good on it. So don't forget about this stuff. The premium, pre the premiums, the premiums are cheap. The premiums, the, the premiums are much cheaper on this stuff. It is still silver. It is still, uh, you know, it, it sells really well. The LCS will always buy it back. It's definitely, definitely liquid. And uh, so don't forget about it. Thank you all for coming by. I truly appreciate it. Please hit the bell icon so you get updated on my latest videos. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. The Savage Stacker is over and out.